Encaustic painting can be pretty tricky because you're painting with pigmented beeswax. And then once you put some wax down, you always have to fuse each layer. I started with encaustic about seven years ago through a local artist and teacher, Taya Hobrick, amazing woman. And she was very passionate about uh, encaustic art and that really spread through a group of us who became um, her sort of core devoted students. That's the really interesting thing about encaustic is you get to work with these very interesting intricate wax layers. And you never kind of know sometimes what they're gonna reveal the thing that artist Bethany Hanfield likes most about encaustic art is the seemingly inexhaustible range of techniques available. You can dig into the layers, bury things into the wax, uh, whether it's with papers, fabrics, rusted bits of metal, wire, bottle caps, uh, sometimes even insects. Uh, the encaustic really lends itself uh, to any type of uh, creative exploration. I think that's why when people start to work with it, they really become impas passionate and excited about it. Whatever your background was, you can apply that into the encaustic, including sculptural work as well. So here I'm just making a really basic landscape using the encaustic iron. Artists can also achieve an almost watercolor-like painting with deft touches of heat molding the wax into intricate and delicate designs. When you put the wax down, the effect is so immediate. It's just so beautiful and so luminous and the colors blend together so easily. And it's something that I find is a very immediate and encouraging for people. The public will have the chance to see a wide range of this art form on display at an upcoming show at the Shatford Center in Penticton. Waxing Poetic and Caustic Art in the Okanagan is an open show for any encaustic artist in the South, Central or North Okanagan. All encaustic artists in the valley are encouraged to contact the Shafford Center to enter their work. The show will also feature guest artists offering public talks and displaying their work. We're hoping to make this an annual event and we're really looking forward to this growing and becoming a major attraction um, for both people locally and coming from outside of the area in the Okanagan. Waxing Poetic and Caustic Art in the Okanagan opens September 27th at the Shatford Center Okanagan School of the Arts in Penticton and runs until November 15th. Deadline for entry for artists is September 20th. For more information, visit shatfordcenter.com. For Shaw TV in Penticton, I'm Doug Brown.